Good evening, everyone. My name is Lucy Harrison, and I am the IUCN Shark Specialist Group Program Officer. And we're based in Vancouver, in Canada. So first of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming this evening. Your support of this event is very important to the success of our project on Soulfish. And we were grateful to see so many of you here this evening. I'd also like to thank Chester Zoo and FFI and Liz and Colin for hosting this seminar series and for inviting Alec and I to come and talk to you tonight about sharks and swordfish. So let's dive straight in. My talk today is titled, Saving Sharks, Hunter Becomes the Hunted. Now before I begin my story, I'd like to introduce you to the sharks. The sharks are part of the order Chondrichthyans. The order includes the sharks, but also the skates and rays and chimeras. Now the sharks are a type of fish. However, rather than having bones like humans or fishes, they made of cartilage, which is the same stuff that our noses and our ears are made of. Scientists have determined that the first sharks lived about 400 million years ago. Now that's 200 million years before the first dinosaurs roamed the Earth. But unfortunately, there are hardly any fossils because the cartilage in their skeletons is not preserved. However, from what we do know, their appearance has changed very little since then. Now many of us think of these species when we hear the word shark, the infamous great white shark, or the giant charismatic whale shark and basking shark. But these are also sharks. In total there are 467 species. However, the group Chondrichthyan also includes the skates and rays, of which there are 539 species. And also the 35 species of Chimera. And the photos of these guys make me smile every time. <laughs> and so, although the organization that I work for is called the ICN Shark Specialist Group, we actually use this term to mean all Chondrichthyans, all 1,041 species of sharks, scapes, rays, and Chimeras. And so throughout this talk, when I say sharks, I'm actually talking about all species of Chondrichthyans. So now that we've seen some of the variety in the world of sharks, skates, rays, and chimeras, let's delve a little deeper into their world. So first up are the whale sharks. They are biggest shark in the world and also the largest fish. They weigh at least 60 tons and are over 60 foot long. So that's the weight of 60 elephants and as long as two double-decker buses. And although they have a gigantic mouth, the whale shark is actually a filter feeder. It feeds on the tiny animals and plants in the plankton um, while swimming close to the water's surface like this. What's also really interesting is that the whale sharks can be identified from the spots on their side. And so far scientists have identified over 3,300 3, individual whale sharks around the world. A dwarf lantern shark is the smallest shark in the world. It's about 8 inches long, about the size of a number 2 pencil. It is found at depths of at least a thousand foot and gets its name from the fact that it can produce light in its skin, possibly to attract prey. <coughs> the short fin mako shark is the fastest and sleekest of all the sharks. It can reach speeds of up to 32 miles per hour. Just imagine driving through the centre of Chester and seeing a mako shark. <laughs> the cookie cutter shark is one of the most bizarre sharks in the world. This very small shark fe feeds by attaching its mouth onto its victim and it carves out a chunk of flesh, leaving a distinctive circular wound in its prey, mm -hmm. like a pastry cutter, but unfortunately not in the shape of <laughs> <laughs> The thresher shark has a tail that's about 10 foot long. That's about half of its body length is made up by its tail. It uses this really long tail like a bat or a, or a whip that either smacks or stuns its prey before it eats it. <coughs> Now the basking shark is something that I'm sure many of you have heard of, especially as they're found off the Isle of Man and throughout the Irish Sea. However, on the west coast of Canada, the uh, basking shark was eradicated by the Canadian government between 1955 and 1970. The basking sharks were thought to eat, eat salmon, which is a very economically important fish in the region. And so the Department of Fisheries and Oceans attached blimps to the front of their boats, and hundreds of these creatures were killed at a time. However, they were wrong about who was eating the salmon. The basking shark, like the whale shark that I showed you earlier, is a harmless filter feeder. It just eats plankton. <coughs> there have only been six confirmed basking shark sightings since 1996 in British Columbia, and there is little hope that basking sharks will be seen in these waters again. 
Well, the world of pregnant sharks is fascinating. Filled sharks are pregnant for over three years, while the bonnet head on the on your right <laughs> is, uh, is pregnant for only two to three months. But things get even weirder. Well, the first pup to hatch from inside the sand tiger shark's shark mother eats its brothers and sisters until there are only two pups left. Baby sharks, um, sorry, baby sharks have many strange protrusions that could get in the way. The head of the hammerhead is soft at birth, so it won't get stuck in the mother's birth canal. And the sore of the baby sawfish is covered in a membrane at birth, also to protect the mother from its spiny teeth. <laughs> Swell sharks are so named because of the, their ability to swallow water and to swell up to appear larger if threatened by a predator. The Greenland shark lives in the deep, dark, cold Arctic waters. Some Greenland sharks have been found at depths of 7,200 feet. These sharks often have small parasites that live on their eyes uh, and glow in the dark, possibly again to attract prey. The fish constitute the largest part of the Greenland shark's diet. However, they have been found with parts of horse and polar bear in their stomachs, as well as a whole reindeer with antlers. <laughs> <laughs> this is possibly the weirdest and ugliest shark out there. The golden shark has a long snout and beady eyes. Some scientists have called it the Franken shark because it's so ugly. Its bizarre beak may be a step in evolution towards something like the hammerhead shark. The giant manta ray grows up to 22 feet from wingtip to wingtip, and these majestic animals are very popular with divers. Our manta ray hearing is worth at least $100 million per year. The stingray's tail has a poisonous bar, which is used only in self-defense. <coughs> However, the toxin in its tail could prove fatal to humans. And most of the certified species of, of chimeras, as I've said, are very strange looking. They live deep in the ocean, deeper than 700 feet, and instead of teeth, they have three per large permanent grinding plates that look like this. What's also very interesting about sharks, but also very unfortunate, is that they have a particularly slow life cycle. <coughs> so now first of all, if we look at tunas, they have one of the fastest life cycles of all fish. Here you can see that a tuna matures at four years old, produces two and a half million eggs per year, and so it would only take them 1.3 years to double their population size. <coughs> However, sharks produce much, much slower than tunas. This pelagic pressure shark takes eight years to reach maturity, only produces two pups per year, and so it would take them 21 years to double their population size. So, what is your first reaction when you hear the word shark? For many people, it induces a feeling of fear. Many people think of sharks as a hunter. <coughs> Ever since the movie Jaws came out in the 1970s, the perception of sharks as man-eating killing machines has increased. Doctored images like this certainly don't help. <laughs> and nor do images like this, taken from the recent shark <coughs> series on the Discovery Channel and a film from the National Geographic on Planet Carnival. And these news articles clearly show that the media have a certain, some would say, negative view of sharks. <coughs> Time to cull these killers. Bit, <laughs> Brits batter shark with surfboard. Mayor calls for killer shark to be culled. The fish fans blamed for more sharks. But let's put this in context. Out of the 300 million people who live in the US, what do 650,000 people die from each year? <coughs> and how about 60,000 people per year? The flu. <laughs> and how about 47? <laughs> so how many people die of a shark attack each year in the US? <laughs> One person out of 300 million, 300 million Americans. So clearly our fear of sharks is not entirely justified. 